New 2017 Nissan Juke, Engines, Exclusive Picks, and Details Next generation Nissan Juke set for 2017 arrival with greener engines, a hybrid version, upgraded technology, and an all-new platform. The original Nissan Juke has been a huge success for the brand and arguably started a niche that has exploded into the national consciousness. The Super Mini SUV class has come on leaps and bounds since the trend started and since then the Juke has come under a lot of fire from cars like the Puga 2008 and the Renault Capture, while even premium cars like the Audi Q2 have gotten in on the act. The next generation Nissan Juke is set to arrive soon, improving on the current car's formula in as many areas as it can, so it can take the fight to the slew of new rivals that have sprung up in recent years. Our exclusive images show how the new Nissan Juke could grow from the current model into a more refined, better quality, and efficient machine. The biggest news is under the skin, as the new Juke will switch to an all-new platform. Until now, it's been using the elderly B0 chassis from within the Renault Nissan Alliance, a chassis that can be traced right back to the 2002 Nissan Micra. That platform is believed to be both slow to produce and expensive, hence the change. The all-new Nissan Juke, set to be revealed in late 2017, will switch to the Alliance's common module family CMFB Playderm, like the all-new Nissan Micra. Design Well-placed sources within Nissan point out that the car still sells over 100,000 examples a year globally. Nissan's chief creative officer Shiro Nakamura has revealed the next generation will remain edgy and less mainstream, but acknowledged that it would still be recognizable as a juke. That means the styling will retain key juke cues, such as the high-mounted headlights and distinct wheel arch blisters. But it will also incorporate Nissan's new face, as seen on the latest Cash K. Plus there will be a slightly longer wheelbase, as Nissan aims to address one of the main criticisms of the current car, rear legroom. The Juke's cabin is set for a major overhaul, as Nissan looks to improve perceived quality with a range of soft-touch plastics and higher-grade fabrics and materials. The overall design is likely to take its lead from the next Micra, which will have a more comprehensive central infotainment display across the range, complete with smartphone connectivity supporting both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. However, the Juke's cabin will get a wider range of personalization options, including different colors and finishes on the fascia highlights. Engines The move to CMFB will open the Juke up to a new range of engines, including 1.0-liter three-cylinder turbo petrols. A 1.5-liter diesel will continue to be offered, alongside a 1.6-liter turbocharged petrol engine that's likely to be the range topper, with an output of around 190 bhp. Nissan sources have also hinted that the next Juke could also get a hybrid variant, using a range extender powertrain that debuted on the Sporty Grips concept at last September's Frankfurt Motor Show. When asked if the next Juke would feature some form of electrification, Nakamura told us, it is very tough to meet our emissions requirements without hybrid. It is almost mandatory. European versions of the next Juke will continue to be built at Nissan's plant in Sunderland. The brand's main focus for 2017 is the launch of the all-new Micra Super Mini a model that has been fast-tracked after European buyers in particular reacted badly to the interior quality and refinement of the existing global version of the car. The Juke is likely to follow soon after, though, we could see a concept within the next six months, ahead of a production car debut in autumn and sales starting before the end of 2017.